a meaningful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centered around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a packed and passionate stadium? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. The game is live in its entirety, next on EA TV. Hello everyone, great to have you with us. As you can see, we're at the Amex Stadium for this one. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Brighton and Hove Albion up against West Ham United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Oh, managing to beat him. And he clears it out of harm's way. March. Continues his run. And drawing it back. Dahoud. Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. Well, right in the knocking at the door here. That was a very good save, mind you. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. And there's the clearance, and that'll be a corner. Played over. In a good position to clear it away. Or Kraus. Determined defending. Ben Rama. Moving the ball more than decently, but can they take the lead? Well, for Brighton, a case of trying to bounce back after a defeat last time out against Wolverhampton Wanderers. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, it was tight. They just didn't have enough to avoid that defeat away from home. Today, I think they'll show far more quality in possession and play with a greater tempo. And if they can do that, they've got every chance of winning this game. And with that, the defender put in the challenge and it might be a red card. And the referee didn't have much choice. A sending off it is. Yeah, no complaints there. That's a sending off all day long. Well, here's the replay, and look how quickly he reacts. That's great awareness from him. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Emerson. Alvarez now. Said Benrama. No possibilities in the centre. It has to be! Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. 
that's a poor piece of goalkeeping. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Well, the referee blows the whistle, and that is going to be all for the first 45 here at the Amex. Well, as we highlight him, you've got to say he's been well below his usual high standards. Normally so composed in the middle of the park, Stuart. Well, Derek, I don't want to be too negative because we know how good he is. But today, he hasn't looked quite right. Let's just hope he isn't carrying some sort of knock. And the ball is moving again. No sugarcoat again. There was a huge gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from West Ham in the second? Pascal Gross. It's with Dahoud. Precise ball movement. Being egged on by the crowd. He quartered the attack illegally. Now perhaps a card is forthcoming. Well, it is a yellow card, and it seems to be a problem of discipline here, Stuart. This is getting out of control. They've got to refocus here and get their composure back. And that is a free-kick artist at work. What a goal it was. Three goals without reply. Antonio. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Don't forget we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Brighton and Hove Albion taking on Newcastle United. Side Ben Rama. Decides to shoot. Huge block. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. In it goes. A well taken penalty. Here it is again, and it can be a risky penalty, but he hits it straight down the middle, the goalkeeper goes one way, the ball goes through the middle, excellent finish. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. March. Dahoud. Strong but fair tackle. They create something from here. Well back. On to Nova. Oh, might be. Oh, yes. It's gone in. And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Into the final 20 minutes. Ward Prowse. Antonio. Now with Paqueta. Chance, maybe. Well, nothing comes of it. 
pressure applied. Can they make something of it? Keeper getting the touch. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, that was incisive. Laid into the box. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. They will now make use of the substitute's bench. Who's going to get on the end of it? We're really closing him down here. Joel Feldman. Ferguson. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Well, he didn't miss by much. Well, it was struck well, but he'll be disappointed not to test the keeper. He really did open up for him there. So a personnel change then. There will be three minutes added on at the end. So check. And there goes the final whistle. Victory for Brighton and Hove Albion. They get maximum points. How would you sum it up? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.